Hello traders, welcome to another episode. Yes, today I'm just going to show you how I was able to to make some profits with my small account. As as you can see the other like in the recent video, I made uh, uh, I clarified it more on how you can grow a small account actually trading only gold, but also you can really trade these pairs like your USD and GBP USD. So I'm just going to show you how I was able to get some of these profits on euro on sorry on gbp usd today so actually uh, i entered from somewhere here so let me go to trading view and I'll show you how we're able to maximize these profits and to get entry right so let's go to our trading view right here and we see guys okay so this is our gbp usd pair right guys so this is our gbp usd okay remember uh so if you come to your four-hour time frame, you can see that the, this market was kind of bullish, okay? Uh, if you look on this recent market structure, it was bullish, this market, right? Because of this higher high that was broken, right? Yeah, this was a higher high that was broken, actually. And uh, and we were waiting for some retracement for us to buy it again, okay? So we got a retracement, actually, that was there to define that break of structure. That means now this was our new range, right? This was our new range, okay? So, uh, this uh, this high that was made and this low, okay? This was a new range, right? We were dealing in because of that break of structure. If, after that, uh, you pull out your fib tool. Actually, just pull out your fib tool here. Then you, after pulling out your fib tool, you will see that uh, the market, actually, it, was, um, uh, it has to first come to our discount zone before you can buy it again right so here you can uh, you can first indicate your 50 right you can indicate your 50 right here and after identifying your 50 you can remove this then like below 50 it is our discount right it is our discount zone and now discount zone what do we want we want to look for some fair value gaps and other blocks there so if you come here you find some fair value gaps. Me, I do trade fair value gaps more, right? So there is this one. There's this fair value gap, guys. There's this one. Okay. Yes. Then also, there is this fair value gap down here. Okay. There are those two fair value gaps actually on our, our time frame. And you can see that the market came and tapped in it, right? So when you go to your lower time frame, like... Uh, like because uh, we are no far now we have to go to m15 right if you go to your m15 you can see this very good market structure that was formed right after actually after your market coming to your fair value gap right there okay after coming there you will see that there was very good market structure that was really formed here because it first gave us this color this one then remember it broke it okay right then this okay that high okay then this low right then boom okay so this was uh this at least uh it was clear for us to know that the market was going up because of some market structure here some bullish signs so it gave us some bullish signs and someone would just enter on the break right on the break of this okay this high because it made a high a low a high right a low that means someone would just enter immediately on the break of this high okay yes someone would just enter from there right so at least someone would just enter from there and you target this this high okay so your stop loss would be just here it was actually a one to three trade okay so this was a very good trade Actually, it was a very good trade because it just came and tipped into a fair value gap right there. And we were able to enter this trade as I showed you. The profits we were able to make. Remember, we trying to trade our small account, guys. So, hope this video has helped you guys. Consider subscribing and giving a like to it. Share to friends so that they can also benefit. So, this is Jimmy Stephen. Goodbye, guys.